Hi, everybody. Lori here from My Favorite Things. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun heart rainbow themed project to share with you. I'm going to be featuring the new jumbo fishtail banner stacks along with the heart stacks. These new dynamic sets. I love a good stack die. You get all the different sizes of the banners and several different sizes of hearts. I'm going to create a fishtail banner shape card. So I have a card base here. I die cut the largest fishtail banner into the card so it makes a fishtail but it is a little bit not quite exactly the size since I hung it over the left to give that hinge room to create my card base. So I die cut another fishtail same size out of white cardstock and I'm going to tape it on top uh, with a little tape runner. I mean it's optional you don't have to do this step but it gives it a nice finished look so the fishtail is exactly the right size. It's still a nice shape card and it also gives the top of your card base a little extra heft. Now moving on to the heart stacks. I'm going to stack it up for Valentine's. Although this card could go any time of the year. Uh, going to use the metal snips to take off the second largest heart and we're going to strip it up. First time in the new year, and I'm not sorry about it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And to me, whenever you are in a loss for a mojo, I say strip it up. Just cut some strips of solid color cardstock, add them in rainbow order, and be prepared to be happy. Okay, so I drew that little heart with a pencil just so I know exactly how much room I needed to cover with my strips. Um, just, I cut them all in different widths. I'm not trying to be perfect. I like the irregularness of all the different thicknesses of stripes. Of course, I'm going in rainbow order, but you could customize it in different colors depending on season or desire. And, um, okay, so yeah, a little tape runner holding it down. And then I'll take that second largest heart stacks die and die cut this stripped apart. So it'll give you a nice stripped up rainbow heart that's making me happy. I don't know if it is you, but the color just gets me out of bed in the morning. So I take this off camera, run it through my die cutting machine, cuts it like butter, and then I'm going to take the largest heart out of the heart stacks and die cut that out of vellum. So this will kind of frame that rainbow stripped apart. And then one of the smaller hearts I think this is the second smallest, I believe. And I die cut it right into the stripped up part. We're going to create a shaker. And um, so I have a little acetate here that's going to cover the back of my window shaker panel. So I flip that over. I'm using liquid adhesive. You could use tape runner, score tape, whatever type of adhesive. Float your boat. And then, t uh, you know, glue on that adhesive. While that's drying, I'm going to glue on this little bit of heart die cut that was left over from the middle because I'm not giving that up. It's too purdy to be thrown out. Okay, so uh, I'm going to add a little foam tape. I love these foam adhesive strips. When you take off the backing, they're very bendy and I needed something nice and bendy to fit around this shape of a heart. This little heart shaker window you nice you need a nice bendy foam tape and that's exactly what this did so i just wrapped it right around trimmed off the excess and then now for a filler i'm using some these are just like little clear confetti i believe they're by pretty pink posh pop on my shaker window and you have a nice colorful shaky with a pretty vellum frame and then this is going to get popped up right on to that fishtail shape card and I like how the heart kind of dips down low in between that fishtail so you get that play on I don't know what you got the play on but you got the play on something I don't know I like it and then now for a sentiment this is a new little mini it's called smooches a little mini sentiment uh stamp set great for valentine's day it's got happy valentine's day pucker up uh, sending smooches but I am doing just a little embossed sentiment strip that says hugs and kisses and I'm embossing this in white onto a strip of black cardstock. So I stamp it a few times, pour on some Simon's Stamp white embossing powder. And I love to hold my little sentiment strip with tweezers. That way, when you go to emboss it, you don't melt your thumb off. And that's what you call a pro tip. Okay, so this looks pretty fine and dandy, but I'm going to trim this just a little bit thinner with my little mini guillotine tonic Tim Holtz trimmer. 
And I love uh, cutting sentiments with this little trimmer because you can really see where you're cutting to get it straight and all that jazz. A little bit of foam tape on the back of this and I'm gonna nestle it right in the center. Star of the show. So what do you have here? You've got a stripped up heart shaker fishtail banner shape card. If that ain't a tongue twisting title ready to put a smile on your face, I don't know what is. Make sure and check out the rest of the January release with my favorite things. And look at how cute this card is when it's standing up on its fishtail tippy tippy toes. That's what I'm going to call it. And there's lots of hugs and kisses and shimmery shakers from the heart. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.